Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Predicting the Future. Today I'm going to talk about a bunch of uh, uh, formulas and, and properties about probability theories. So the first one I want to talk about is moment, uniqueness of moment generating function. So if, if two random variables x and y, uh, they, uh, they have moment generating, not, not every random uh, distribution have moment generating functions but if, if they do uh, and they are equal then they are the same they have the same distribution same for if they have the same distribution they have the same moment generating function uh, the second property I want to talk about is that uh, two uh, two random variables x1 and x2 it, it, they are independent if and only if the moment generating function of the joint PDF of x on, uh, x1 and x2 equals uh, the moment generative x1 times the moment generative function of x2. So it's a it's a both directional. So if if, if you can write a moment generative function as x as a product of individual moment generative functions, then they're independent. And if they're independent, then you can write it as a moment uh, a gener a product of two moment generative functions. It can be easily proven. Uh, without much uh, advanced uh, uh, measure theories, theories, uh, theories. Um, uh, so le so let's put the fir uh, first direction. Um, if x and y are independent, then then their PDF can be write separately. They, so you can write uh, when you write down the, the formula for moment generative function for for x one x one and x two, they can be separated so they are the product of moment generative function. The, uh, the other direction is if if we can write a moment generated function as a product, then by the uniqueness of moment generated function that we see in here, and this problem, this uh, this uh, theorem in here, we know that uh, if, if 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 they can write into a product of moment generated functions, then then x one and x two they are actually independent. Um, so that's that's a very easy to prove uh, uh, easy to prove uh, theorem. Uh, the third one I want to talk about is covariance and the cor uh, Pearson co uh, coefficient correlation. So it's called uh, rho, and 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 the value of rho is is between minus one and one. Uh, it's also very easy to prove. You just need to use the Cauchy uh, Schwarz inequality. So so the absolute value of the covariance is less than or equal to so basically Cauchy Schwarz inequality or Hodel's inequality. You take the absolute value, uh, the absolute value of that inside uh, the integral uh, is less than when you take the other side. You move the absolute value into the integral, so that become um, uh, the square root of the norm of uh, the integral in L two space, and that's basically the uh, the standard deviation of x and standard deviation of of y. So that's the covariance uh, coefficient correlation. Uh, there's also a bunch of formulas I want to mention. Uh, so the first one, covariance of cxy, is basically you can take the c out of the x. Uh, you just simply write integral and then take out the common c. Um, and covariance x plus y versus z is the same of covariance x y plus covariance x and uh, y and z. It's also by expanding the formula uh, for for integral of the covariance in, uh, definition. The third similar uh, using the, the, the second one, you don't actually use, you, you, you don't actually need to use the second one. Just write in the formula for integral of the covariance definition of the definition of covariance. You write in the formula the covariance of the sum is the sum of the covariance. Uh, the fourth one is the variance of uh, x uh, sum of x i is just a co it's just a covariance of uh, the sum of x i uh, and 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 expanded in 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 the in the definition of covariance it becomes the sum of the variance plus uh, the sum of the covariance and and it has in a uh, uh, in a special case where xi are, they have the common uh, mean and, and variance, <coughs> then the variance of the sum of xi is just n 
times the uh, the variance plus n times n plus one, n minus one. Where this comes from? <coughs> this one. <coughs> remember, we are taking uh, we are taking uh, we are taking a covariance. So we're just this part is is this. It's a sum of covariance. Um, <clears throat> so we take one of the xi minus mu and the other one yj minus mu. And there are n, uh, n terms. So basically, there are n terms of those, those uh, random variables. We pick one, and then the left, there will be. So there's n possible ways of picking, picking those n random variables. And then we left with n minus one options we can pick, so that will we totally have n times n minus one possible ways of choosing these two random variables. And because there's a state, this covariance is the same, uh, and that is the covariance is just by the formula of by by the co uh, Pearson coefficient correlation formula. It's just the co the row row times the uh, the variance. <coughs> so that's a very easy. Uh, thing to prove. Uh, the last uh, next one is if x i x x one to x n are uh, identical independent random variables, uh, <coughs> then the covariance of the mean uh, with x i minus the uh, the sample mean uh, is actually uh, zero. So there's no correlation between the sample mean. And one with sample minus the sample mean. There's zero correlation. The proof is also easy. Just expand the, the, the definition of covariance uh, and, and rearrange the terms. Uh, you get a zero. Next one is uh, if z is if random variable z is is a standard normal deviation a standard normal random variable, then the square of z is chi square of one degree of freedom. Uh, this is also easy to, to prove. You just write down uh, the formula for, for the probability of z squared less than or equal to z. Uh, <coughs> uh, do a, a variable transformation. Uh, you get uh, exactly the formula, the probability density function for chi square distribution with one degree of freedom. And and the same if. And Z1 to Zn are RID random variable, uh, random uh, RID standard normal uh, distribution. And then the sum of uh, Zi squares is just a uh, chi square of n degree of freedom. <coughs> so this is also uh, uh, easy to prove. I won't, I won't be proving here. Uh, next one is this is interesting. So uh, what we are looking here is expected value of the expected so expected value of expected value of x given y is actually expected value of x. So this is also easy to prove. Just write down the formula. So we are taking the integral of the expected value of x times the PDF of x given y times the PDF of y. Uh, dx dy uh, and and the pdf pdf x given y is just fxy divided by fy and this is the same so fy is cancelled out it becomes only the fxy so x times fxy this is just the definition of uh, expected value of x so that's the that's the expected value of x expected value of of expected value of expected value of x given y is just expected value of x. Variance of x, <coughs> so so variance of x can be written as uh, expected value of variance of x given y plus the variance of x expected value of x given y. Uh, the proof is easy, so we just need to expand this one, expand this one. So the first term here. Expected y, expected value of var variance of x given y. Uh, <coughs> it's just expected value of. Uh, ex so we use the, the variance of this one. It's just expected value of x squared given y minus expected value of x given y squared. So this is uh, this is the one of the properties of expected value. And if we take the expectation, 
uh, and that will become this one. The second one varies of expected x, one x y. This is also the same. So by the by the definition of variance, we have expected value of x, uh, expected expected value of x given y squared minus expected value x squared. And so so when we plus these two terms together, the expected of x squared uh, is is cancel. Uh, so uh, sorry, the expect so. Uh, this term, so this term and this term, this term are cancelled. And what we left is just expected value of x squared minus expected value of x squared. And that's just expected value of, that's just the um, uh, <coughs> variance of x. And and see what, what, we, what we can get from here. So expected value is these two terms. And if you look at the, the, second, the second term here, so variance of what is that? The variance of expected value x given y. So if if we know y, the, the variance of the expected value of x given y is actually smaller than the variance of x. So this is what I'm talking about. So if we if we know something, y, and in case if if they are correlated, they have relationships. Then if you know something ahead of time, then you you can have a better estimate of of x. Uh, we, you have a smaller variance of your estimate uh, compared to without knowing y. This is very uh, a good uh, intuitive uh, explanation of of given something you know and they are correlated. Then you, you can you can reduce the variance of your estimation uh, by by the prior knowledge. <coughs> so. Uh, <coughs> Next thing I want to talk about here is student uh, theorem. So the student theorem is that uh, let x1 to xn are uh, ID normal uh, with mu and sigma square. Then the sample mean uh, is has a distribution of it has a normal distribution with sample with mu and sigma square divided by n. Second thing we, we can we, we're gonna prove that later. So the second thing is the sample mean and sample uh, sample variance are independent, and uh, the uh, third thing is that the sample the sample variance uh, so the sample variance times n minus one divided by the, by the variance is uh, is a chi square distribution of n minus one. Third is that if you take the um, the standard uh, so this is sample sample mean. So this sample sample of mean divided is its its mean mu div uh, uh, minus its mean divided by its standard deviation. That's the, so the first thing here is a standard normal distribution, random variable, and 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 denominator here is is a square root of what is a square root of the chi square n minus one degree of freedom divided by its degree of freedom n minus one, and by definition of student distribution. We can we can we can calculate the, the distribution of t. Uh, we can this is this this can be proved that this is just the PDF. It's PDF of t is just the uh, uh, student t distribution, and that will be a t distribution a standard student a student distribution with n minus one degree of freedom. So let's prove that. Um, so let's prove the first thing. The sample mean follows a, a normal distribution. And so to prove, uh, so one simple way to prove that we can prove with using a moment generated function, uh, or we can uh, use the fact that the linear combination of ID normal are also normal with uh, uh, with a mean uh, mu, and and the variance of that uh, uh, linear combination of of ID normals is just uh, uh, sigma squared divided by n. So that's very easy to prove. The second one we want to prove is sample mean. <coughs> the second thing we want to prove is sample mean and the sample variance are independent. So we're gonna use the fact that sample mean and the vector and, and those uh, x1 minus xn, x2 minus x, uh, so x1 minus sample mean, x2 minus sample mean to xn minus sample mean, they are all normal uh, because they are just as uh, 
a linear combination of, of normal random variables. And, and the fact that, co that the covariance of xn, is, uh, the covariance of sample mean and, and the random vector xi minus x um, minus sample mean are zero, which already proved in the previous uh, talks. So we proved that in here. So, so the sample mean, the covariance of sample mean and xi minus the sample mean is actually zero. So that one we already proved. So we know that <coughs> they, they, they have covariance zero uh, uh, and because they are normal random variables. This is a very special uh, character in, 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 in multivariate normal random variables. If, if two no, uh, random variables, they have covariance zero, then they are actually independent. Uh, I, I won't be proving here. Uh, but that's uh, that's one of the uh, characters of uh, 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 multivariate normal uh, random variables. So the f so so they they are, so these two are independent. So next thing we want to prove is is the chi squared with n minus one degree of freedom. Um, <clears throat> so if you repair so if you refactor this one so this sample sam this is the sample uh, this is the sample variance. If, if you refactor this term. Uh, so that will becomes xi minus the mean and then plus the mean minus the sample variance divided by standard deviation squared. So this is, this is the same thing, we just minus a mu plus a mu. If we refactor that uh, and, use the, and use the independence of s uh, sample mean and, and sample mean and sample, mean and sample variance uh, and, and, moment generated and the moment generated function to derive that the final moment generated function is the moment generated function of the chi square n minus one. So this is the couple of things we 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 need to prove that this is it's, this is chi square n minus one uh, degree of freedom. Last one is the t distribution is just a, uh, it's just coming from the the definition of t stand, uh, t distribution. Uh, Numerator is, is a standard normal distribution. Denominator is, is a chi square distribution minus its degree of freedom that becomes the, stand, uh, the, norm, uh, the student distribution with the same degree of freedom. So, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's what we, I want to talk about today. Uh, hopefully, this quick uh, video uh, could become uh, one of the uh, review videos where you, if you forgot something, you can come back and and, and and see uh, those results remind yourself those those knowledges and thank you everyone